Hello, welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm the Mingo. Special K, and tonight we're doing salt tequila. This is 100% agave chocolate flavored tequila. Very Salted nice. Salted chocolate. Very nice presentation. Comes with a really uh, nice suede bag purse. Um, you know, I don't know if, if we got it that way because it was sent to the show. Because this was sent to the show for review, or if it's sold that way. Um, this product is not sold in, in our half of the United States. It's really prominent, like California and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, but the company decided to send us the bottle to see if we liked it. Um, they have four other flavors, I believe. Um, this one seems pretty interesting. It's 40% alcohol by volume or 80 proof. Like I said, it's 100% uh, agave and it's Blanco tequila infused with natural chocolate flavor. Um, and that's about it? Yeah. What's the ABV, 40? 40%. Uh, they have this nice little medallion on the front, I guess. Like I said, presentation like a good. little wax seal type deal. Does have a cork, synthetic cork. It is. I did look up the price. Uh, it is a little over forty dollars a bottle. Uh, that is in California and places like that. I don't know. Like I said, it has a limited availability. Um, you know, there aren't a lot of flavored tequilas on the market, so it's hard to really compare it to something else. Hey, yeah, this is a bung alcohol. Though, though, if you do compare it to like flavored bourbons and stuff like that, those are substantially cheaper than this. The tequila typically has a slightly higher price tag than those. Well, plus, I think the agave yield has been fucked up this year. There's, like, a lot of tequilas you can't get until next year. But well, there's a lot of... And probably worker shortages, like everything else. It's, it's, like, it's like that with up. all alcohol. There's going to be, in about four or five years, we're going to have a huge bourbon shortage, too. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's slightly... It's not quite clear. Do you see how it's, like, sticking to the side when you, like... Yeah. Interesting. It has a slight... It's, like, off clear... There's a slight, maybe yellowish brown hue to it, but you have to, say, yeah. you have to have really bright lights to be able to tell that. Um, smell like alcoholic chocolate. There's a little tiny bit of like wood characteristic, but that's about it. Um, yeah, there is a little woody, but it's it's you know blanco tequila, so it's not really aged. Yeah, it does have the chocolate is a little. Um, it reminds me of cacao and less of like a mm -hmm. milk chocolate or something. Which I prefer. Yeah. But Let's do it. All right. No, you know, I wasn't sure how those flavors would work, but. I was skeptical. I'm trying to think what it would mix good with, though. Well, yes, besides that. Like... Uh, it would go good with the shot of Bailey's. Mm -hmm. um, it would probably go something good. like maple or something. Coffee, or like caramel um, or something. Make some alcoholic, uh, alcoholic horchata, some tequila in it. Oh, that's already a thing. It's called rompope. Is it? Mm hmm. Well, it shows you. Oh, no, it's out. like, no, rompope is like Mexican eggnog that's alcoholic. You can get it around Christmas time. I've been trying to pick some up the last couple of years and I just keep forgetting about it. Uh, I can't believe how much this is actually really good. Like, yeah, I was not I expecting wouldn't take it to be shots good. of it, and I wouldn't like just drink it straight. But it's definitely a super good base for something. It's not over sweet. It's not. Um, the chocolate is subtle, but it's definitely there. The tequila flavor is it works is strong. It's it pretty work. clean. There's nothing offensive in the flavor. Um, it's impressive. Like I said, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but it is a surprisingly good uh, quality product. I'm wondering like how they're, they're just like regular ass blanco tequila is. I don't know. They have berry and a few other flavors. I'm not sure. Flavored tequila is interesting. Like, why is there not more flavored tequilas? I'll be real. I glanced at their website for about one minute, and I saw that they had a few other flavors. Mm -hmm. I didn't look hard. Again, we don't do research. That's part of the show. Um, we're going to mix it with some cold brew coffee. This one is has alcohol in it, oh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's unsweetened, though, so that's what I wanted. I want an unsweetened mixer, um, and that's what we're using. Um, this is Rebels Hard Coffee. Like I said, it's be four percent, but it, I think it'll work well with chocolate tequila, especially something with a subtle sweetness. I think what would top this drink off is I think I would put a little shot of Bailey's or, or rum chata or something mm -hmm. in it. Rum chata, yeah, definitely. But you know, we can't keep rum chata. All right, so let's rate this straight real quick. Uh, price and availability is going to be issues, so we have mm -hmm. to take that into account. Um, that being said, I think this is a solid eight for a flavored tequila. Again, that's weird to say, you don't see very many, mm -hmm. but I'm going to give this one an eight. For sure. I was going to go with a 7. No, it's really good for what it is. The price is a little steep and availability, obviously. But, like, it works. And I didn't think it was going to work. That's like chocolate, tequila. I don't know how I feel about it. But, 
They did a really good job with this one. Um, on the nose, mixer it just sort of smells like cold brew. I don't you really do get a little bit of the chocolate. Take taste. Like, like a tinge. Okay. Yo. That's where it is. You do get like a tiny, tiny, tiny alcohol taste. You know what's killer about this, but right? But it's not, it's, it's good. How balanced it is on sweet level. You're not wrong. Like, it's, I wouldn't say watery, but it's not like, a lot of stuff like this is like too much. Right, too, too much, much sweet. sugar. It's yeah. going to make you sick, but no, like, it's balanced, and it has all the flavor notes that you want, but it's not like heavy. You know what I mean? I think that little half a shot of Bailey's or cream liqueur would just make it yeah. blow up. With this, Culper, again, this is Culper unsweetened um, coffee. It's alcoholic. Um, it, it's still really good. This would be um, like a good vacation drink. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to say... You take like some coffee, this, and some like rum chata, and you just like sip on it in the morning like we're ready to go do our thing. Yeah. I'm going to say that um, it is slightly better as a mixer, though it has limited options as a mixer. Some of the berry flavor, it has berry flavor one that might be a little bit more, um, mm -hmm. have more uses than this one. Um, that being said, I'm still going to give this an eight and a half as a mixer. I think it's mm -hmm. slightly better. What are you thinking? Uh, I was going to give it an eight. Like, it's a fantastic mixer. Because, you know, like, tequila is one of those things, like, tequila is good by itself. And obviously, like, anything lime flavored is fine. You know, like, refresca or, like, whatever. But, like, it doesn't have too much of the tequila characteristics. And it also has the flavor in it that it actually, like, adds to things without taking it away in a negative way. You know what I mean? With this particular mixer, it does a good job of, they do a good job of complementing each other. Yeah, like it brings up true. more of the coffee and then the coffee brings up more of the chocolate. Yeah. And the tequila is just hanging out in the back there. It's just a just subtle finishing flavor. It's so good together. Like it's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Like I would have never thought, like I'm not, I like tequila. Mm -hmm. I don't love tequila. I don't, I don't like aged tequila. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with you on that I like one. Blanco tequila. It's all right. Like, I've I'll had some younger. Or... I've had some younger tequila that I like, but the really, yeah. really old tequila. It just tastes like like cigar ash and and cat litter. Like I don't know. I can't Either do doing bourbon it. barrel aged tequila. That's the new yeah. thing too. Um, but yeah, this is impressive. It's an impressive mixer for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you recommend it? Oh, for sure. I mean, if you can find it in your area and you're willing to pay the price, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this if... would be like a good thing to just chill on your bar whenever you're like. I want something like different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Again, like a desserty type drink. It seems a little niche. That's not super sweet. It seems a little niche, and a lot of these products don't make it. Like we have a hop infused whiskey back there that's a little questionable, but like mm -hmm. something like this, uh, it just it works really well. It's killer. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm impressed for sure. All right, well that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment right there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Domingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.